In the US, African Americans are portrayed as a thugs. They call them thugs. They see them as people who are always doing drugs, people are always doing crimes and all of that. But these people came to your country and you opened the doors. Why? Because you wanted to take their dollars. This is the same thing that you did to Nigerians. You opened the doors for Nigerians to come. Now you see that Nigerians are struggling, you call them all sorts of names. My friend, who made you the judge above your fellow Africans? Who told you that you are better? What is the problem with Nigerian behavior? What is the problem with the way Nigerians act? The white man does not even like you for your behavior. They don't marry you because they complain about your behavior. They ask you to change. They say they don't like you because your culture is not good. You, the same black man, you turn around. Now you are judging your fellow black man, telling your fellow black man that his behavior is not good. This man, when he gave you money, you took it. When this man opened his door for you to come to his house, you came there. This man would give you a job and you will take it. And you turn around to backstab your fellow black man. The same man who is giving you oil, you like the oil, but you don't like the behavior of the man who is giving you oil. Hypocrisy, you have a two face. You are taking his food. You don't like the man, but you like the food that the man is giving you. You are a criminal, you have a two face. What is the problem with the Nigerian behavior? This is African culture. Who made you a judge above Nigerian? Do you even think that you are humble? You are not humble. The reason why you have not killed Nigerians is because they have some power above you. You cannot. They are richer than you. They are stronger than you. This is the reason why you are a little bit subtle when you are attacking Nigerians. If you had power like Nigerians, my friend, I tell you by now, you would literally be shooting the Nigerians on the street. Because the level of hatred that you have for these people. Why will your, the Asians in your country not marry you? They don't like your culture. And you want the Nigerians to change, to become like you. My friend, Nigerian music you have stolen. Nigerian movies you have stolen. You are stealing aspect of this Nigerian culture. We don't even know your music anymore. Every African music right now is Afrobeat. You have stolen their movies. The way they, the mannerism, everything that Nigerians do in their movies, you have stolen it. And this is the process of Nigerian culture. You are taking the culture, and then you are killing the man who has the culture. The people you always bow to, the people you are always kissing their ass, my friend, go and meet them to give you oil. They don't have anything to give you. Rather, they come to your country to steal, even from your children, even from your grandchildren, they are stealing your resources, taking everything to their own country. That, those people are good people to you. They are the angels. They quietly are killing you. Nigerians are come, they are not killing you. They are being natural. Act in the way that they are supposed to act. He wants to kill those people. My friend, you are the problem in this continent. You are the same people. You will go out there and defame Nigerians. You are the one doing it. You will tell all of the world that Nigerians are bad. You are not even a neighbor to Nigeria. You don't even know Nigeria. You only based on what you have had. Even Nigerians have not treated you bad. You have not even had a close encounter with them. How many Nigerians do you even know? How many Nigerians have you had a relationship with? And you are there judging a country of almost 250 people because of one person because of two persons, because of ten persons, you are an evil person. You are an evil person because you are the one destroying this Africa. When it comes to Nigeria, your mouth gets very wide. You begin to see all sorts of trashy things. You always complain about Nigerian behavior. That behavior, you see, is the same behavior producing doctors in your country. You are evil. You are bad. Your badness is from here, from your heart. So it is not about Nigerians are this or Nigerians are that. It is because you are evil. The evil is right here in your heart. You have buried that evil right here. So even if a Nigerian acts very nice to you, it does not count. It means nothing. If a hundred Nigerians act very good to you, you will not see that at anything. You are focusing on one Nigerian who did one bad thing because your heart is rotting. Your heart is rotting. You have nothing good. That is why when you meet your fellow black man, you will always ask him, where are you from? The moment that man will tell you that he's Nigerian, your attitude will change. You don't know that person. You don't know if he's a good person. But your attitude will change automatically because you have rotten feelings for Nigerians in your heart. You are the devil. You are Satan. That is what you are. Let the African Americans, African Americans, I am calling all of you, open your ears. The way they are treating Nigerians today, that is the way they will treat you. I don't care how much you invest in their country. The very day they will turn their backs at you, they will kill you and your children. Open your ears and see the way they are treating Nigerians. These Nigerians are the same people who helped these people in the past. You are going to help them now. Tomorrow they will turn around and stab you again. The same thing they are. Look at their heart. Very evil people.